Alright, so we're checking out the only game that uses complex math to kill countless amounts of human beings. It's Universe Sandbox 2. Universe Sandbox 2 had an update that improved its physics, and I'd like to take a moment to mention that gravity is cool. Gravity is cool because it allows us to have things such as Florida Man. If the gravity was, say, much, much higher, Florida Man wouldn't be able to pick up the toaster so that he could stab his cousin with it. Yes, I said stab. If the gravity were much higher, Florida Man wouldn't be able to crank back all the natty lights needed to wrestle alligators. Gravity is probably fine right where it is. But screw that, we're gonna go ahead and start increasing gravity in a bunch of different solar systems in order to see exactly what happens when you make the gravity ridiculous. We're gonna start this simple. It's the place where Florida Man comes to die. It's our solar system. Now, if you move over to the gravity area, you can take your gravity and you can pretty much multiply it immediately. We'll just put in 10 times gravity in space just to see what happens. I'm not expecting too much. Okay, I was way wrong. Actually, a lot more happened than what I had it. Oh, we screwed everything up. The whole galaxy is gonna get screwed. I was thinking maybe more around, you know, maybe a hundred times gravity would start messing things up a little bit more Goku-like. But no, 10 times gravity was enough to bring Venus, Mercury, and Earth into these really long gooey, horrifying orbit. So living on Earth kind of sucks right now. Uh, when you're far away from the sun, it's about 35 degrees Celsius. And when you get really close to the sun, it's about 629 degrees Celsius. But nothing's exploded. I mean, everything still exists. Okay, so let's make it, uh, let's make it 50 times gravity. Let's see what that does. The sun is getting smaller because all of its goo is slowly compressing on top of itself. Okay, Mercury just exploded. That is the very first casualty. I always say that Mercury, everyone hates Mercury and Mercury never gets any love. And even here, even when I start messing with the, oh, Mercury's chunklets are now circling the sun. Even when I increase gravity, Mercury is the very first one to get obliterated. Hold on, we gotta go in here and uh, take a moment to observe all of the particulates that Mercury gave up so that we could enjoy the glory of a 50 times gravity solar system. Now look, the sun now has rings. I think that Earth just blew up too. Someone else is blowing up over here. Okay, now it's just a flamethrower of sadness. The sun now has the coolest rings I have ever seen in space. It is rings of fire. That's what the sun has. You get to jump through. Oh, the Earth is still alive. I thought the Earth had exploded. Somehow we're still in one piece. I mean, again, it's, you know, 700 degrees Celsius, but we're not astral dusts, you know, kind of spinning around the sun. Oh, hey, Venus is still chilling too. Well, since Earth and Venus are still alive, that means that we're going to have to pump this up to 100 gravity just to see where that'll get us. The Earth, er, not that, well, the Earth probably as well, but the sun continues to get way smaller. The Earth, the Earth over here is starting to pull a U-turn on I-75. Things are, things are probably going to be pretty bad. All right, we're traveling with the barren wasteland that is currently the Earth. It will be passing somewhat close to the sun. I think we may have just lost part of California. Um... I'm not sure how many states got liquefied. Right over here, you're gonna notice is where we touch down on the sun momentarily. My God, it almost got Australia. What's crazy is this entire simulation right now, like the speed that the Earth is moving, this is only 23 minutes a second, and it's crossing space at this speed. We're coming in for another pass. How much uh, Earth are we gonna lose this time? You know, I don't think that we're close enough. Bruh. Never mind, I was wrong. We were pretty damn close. Why is it always Australia? 200 times gravity. Oh. I think I sped things up way too freaking fast. 200 times gravity was probably a bad idea. Screw you, game. The Earth still lives on somehow. I'm not sure how much. Did the sun turn into a black hole? It's totally possible that the sun may have just turned into a black hole. Yep. That's a problem. So wait a second. If the sun can turn into a black hole at, a, at 200 times gravity, I think that it's totally possible that we can make every single planet in this. There goes Earth. That we can make every single planet in the solar system become a black hole with enough gravity. Also, we're gonna have to do this to the perfectly engineered solar system because there's, you know, like a hundred planets or something over there. Look everyone, this for those of us that can't always afford fireworks for the 4th of July, here's a little firework for you. Anyone ever make their own fireworks as a kid? We did. Anyone ever get burned by their own fireworks as a kid? We did. <laughs> All right, back in the club with the original OG solar system. Straight off the bat, gravity, 
gonna go, I don't know, 500, 400, because I missed the five, because I suck. 400 times gravity, right off the bat. Ready? I'm gonna turn this way down. Ready, set, go. Is everyone okay? Any problems? How is the sun not a black hole yet? Maybe it takes a second to compress upon itself? I'm gonna go ahead and speed things along a little bit. Well, Mercury just got obliterated as it ran into the sun. Let's go ahead and stand on the surface of Venus. So if you imagine for a moment what it would be like to hit the sun standing on the surface of Venus. I don't even know where the hell the sun was. I'm pretty sure we came pretty close to it because we're at 1700 degrees Celsius. I still don't really know how we didn't get any black holes when we went to 500 gravity. I don't know. Sometimes science does whatever it wants. How about a thousand gravity? Oh God. Oh Jesus. How did the sun just get way bigger? Never mind. The sun just transformed into a black hole. Okay. Ultimate engineered solar system. This is gonna be our new guinea pig because there's enough stuff here to really screw things up. I think you have to do like the steps of gravities slowly. So we'll start with a hundred gravity. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and pause that real quick because in a second it's gonna be like freaking World War Three in the middle of the sun over here as all the planets start smashing into one another. Florida man, this one's for you. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. That was the first, like, chunk of planets. There's multiple rings of planets. So there's plenty more to come through the middle and try and get obliterated on each other. The other planets, I think, will probably be turning around and coming back as well. Yep. That is a lot of particles. <laughs> it's just a cluster of explosions. Just all the planets go to the middle, and then they all ricochet off one another and cause a really cool effect of exploding planets. All right, hold on. We're going to try and bring all this back. So let's uh, let's pump it straight up to 400 Gs. Is everyone still leaving? Everyone's still leaving the perfectly engineered solar system? Yeah, I know at least a few of you want to get back in on this. There we go. Let us take a moment to follow one of the planets as it heads toward the sun very, very quickly. And as it ricochets off someone, it ends up going to 3600 degrees Celsius and also pulsating like it wants to give everyone epilepsy. It's like a flower in space, except instead of a demonstration of life, it's a giant demonstration of death. 800. 800 didn't actually do anything. How about, uh, eh, 15,000. How about that? I'm not sure what just happened. The entire solar system just disappeared. I feel like this is a bad thing. This time we're gonna start at 15,000. 15,000. Go. Okay, so immediately the sun turns into a black hole. I'm pretty, yep, there it is. So the sun turns into a black hole, and now all of the planets are going to be streaking toward the middle of where the black hole is. Oh, it's eating them. Let's get real close here. Hold on, let me slow this way down so we can really, okay, thought well, I slowed that down. Oh, now you wanna be slowed down, huh, game? Okay. So here's all of the planets they've given up in this world. Now, right about here, about this close to the black hole, this is where all of them spontaneously catch on fire uh, and so what you have is you have 30 or 50 flaming balls of planet now coming at this black hole I'm not gonna lie that looks pretty awesome now once they get close enough they start to meld together <laughs> look at this ring of planets around this black hole they've all crushed together the bigger planets are having a real hard time but the smaller planets can like, you know, just barely kind of squeeze together. It's kind of neat looking at the planets through the black hole too because it warps all the the appearance. All right, slow things down a little bit more. Get all right. I feel like we can get all of these to become black holes. So let's try 50,000 gravity. Okay, everything's starting to turn. Stuff is physically turning. So when you do this and you turn the gravity way up, one thing that you don't want to do is click on the show orbits button. Um, if you're susceptible to flashing lights, avert your eyes. Here we go. I don't know what this is, but this is apparently the orbit. I wonder if anything's different at 50,000 times gravity, or if everything just gets eaten by the sun again. It looks like it's just going to get eaten. Some of them are kind of going sideways. What the hell is happening over here? Oh, okay. Oh, now it's not rings of of death. It's like a spiral of flaming planet chunks. Okay, some other plants are starting to get closer now. They're all just kind of brushing by and it's causing all of them to, to spontaneously explode into giant strands of 
firework-like broken dreams. Okay, screw this. One million gravity. Where the hell did my million go? Go. That's crazy. The planets are still planets. All right, whatever this number is in gravity. I think the only thing left is a black hole. Yeah. The entirety of the universe just turned into a black hole. All right, I'm just going to hold down on the gravity slider and see what this does as we utilize it. See, now it's a little bit different because the stuff hitting the sun, it's not... Okay, I was gonna say, it's not immediately being eaten by, you know, a giant black hole, but now it is a black hole, and the black hole gets bigger the more gravity we put into it. Now it's the worst kind of black hole. It is a black hole hula hooping fire. You can watch as the black hole reaches the old E values. <laughs> yeah, when you start messing around with high amounts of gravity, the black hole gets really big to the point where it can absorb planets and they don't even turn into flaming spheres. One of the things that you can do in this game is you can continue to add more and more planets to the sun. I think that we need a ton of planets and then I'm gonna increase the grab. I'm kinda just hope banking on luck because if one of the Earths run into another Earth as I make it, it's gonna be real bad. Okay, we got a ton of everything right now. All of the Earths are looking pretty good. Climate is good. Everything's fine. Gonna start with a simple 1,000 gravity. Okay, 1,000 gravity caused a lot of bad things to happen real quick. A lot of bad things. Yep. We're getting a lot of planetary explosions over here. Because again, they're brushing just past a really tiny, well, you know, comparatively, black hole. And it's causing the the remains of all these different planets to get ejaculated into space and pump this up a little bit more maybe like five thousand i think part of the issue is it's just too much gravity maybe we only need a little bit of extra gravity let's just try like five not 54 five okay five gravity screws things up pretty quick how about if we go back in gravity how about if we go to two? Oh, it just shoots things off into space. Well, I tried to save everyone, I really did. All right, how about only five gravity here? What that should do is that should bring everything like slowly toward the middle, but all in unison. Because it's all gonna be affected by the gravity the same amount rather than, you know, just making the, the sun bigger. Okay, everything's starting to travel into the inhabitable zone. Uh, and in a second here, Things are either going to bounce away from the sun or they're going to culminate into a giant sphere of crashing. And nothing crashed. Everyone's fine. I, wow, I really don't know how this happened. There's like a bajillion planets and they're all totally fine. Let's speed things up just a little bit. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. They're just pulsating in and out of the reach of the sun. Look how they do it in uniform. They go in end up spreading out. They go in, they spread out, but they never collide with one another. So it can happen indefinitely. So all the way out here, it's 16.8 degrees Celsius. Now, once you get, you know, in over here, it's 375. So that's right about where your balls get melted off. What the hell just happened? It's just a bright light. I can't see anything. What the hell's going on here? Oh, we did it. We found heaven, I guess. I don't know what this white light is. It's just, like I said, it's just five times gravity. It's not that bad. Oh, there's no light over here. It's just over here. All right. Well, hope you all enjoyed this episode of Universe Sandbox 2, where in multiple galaxies all over the universe, we've had the opportunity to screw with gravity in such a way that makes everyone sad, but it causes fantastic stellar fireworks. Anyway, until the next time, stay foxy and much. Oh my God, love.